Yo, what's going on guys, the board the Infotainment with the Versailles 10 Tiger 01, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, 10 Tiger 01, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitch as well. Alright, um, I'm just giving you here to give my quick thoughts on the first test between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Now, here's a bit of an update. There's a reason why I have not covered this. Or, my coverage or my presence on YouTube has not been as much as I had anticipated for this month. This is because my comprehensive exams got over and I, like, uh, to be honest, the the tension from the results there, well, at times they can get a bit, a bit overwhelming at times. Because, yeah, this is, this is the one that matters the most. And there's a high chance you will not get, like, if you fail this one, you'll not get another chance at it. You'll not get another shot at it. So this is the one that, this is the absolute one that matters the most. So, yeah. Um, I have a usual troll. I have a person that usually trolls me. Yeah. I read the comments. Uh, I, I've i chosen at least for now not to say anything. But yeah, um, just a quick note. W um, and yeah, I'm, I'm planning to get this, I'm planning to get this cleaned up because I've, I've just, if you must know, the exam completely just finished yesterday. This, this should tell you how little time I had. Like, you know, basically to myself. But anyways, Um, I was not happy at all, at all, with the outcome of the tri series of the tri uh, uh, tri nation series final. I was not happy at all. Anyways, uh, speaking of the first test, I've I've mostly uh, heard it through um, thing. What you call it? What you call it? Uh, there's uh, some. Radio station that you can uh, you can get by Bangladesh radio station that you can you you can listen in live through the website, audio commentary because um, these uh, supposed uh, cricket streaming websites they're if you haven't noticed they're extremely biased, and I cannot I cannot uh, put that you know make that word sound even more important extremely biased towards covering India matches. And to an extent, even even Australia matches, but mostly India, mostly India matches. And it's to the point where they 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 seem to uh, have an aversion towards covering uh, uh you know you know other smaller nation matches. And one of the websites I'm I'm talking about is um, Webcrick. Sorry, a lot of times I've checked the streams. There, the I was lucky enough to catch maybe parts of the of some of the Bangladesh ma ODI matches. Forget the tests. But if you guys know of anything, just just leave it in the comment section or send me a, send me a message or, or whatnot. Because here's the thing, um, Willow TV, it does not show it does not show up on the East Coast as one of my the cha the channels I have. Like if you. If you want uh, more penetrance, you can't be an exclusive West Coast thing and like, you know, New York type of thing. Where you have so many Indians living, so many Indians and so many South Asians living here in, in Florida. You can't have, so like, you know, th th this is, and I'm sorry to go on a bit of a rant here. Here's the thing with, with, with Willow TV. I've seen some of the commercials. Holy shit. Holy shit. You talk about a low budget channel. Talk about a low budget channel. Just look at the fucking commercials. Yeah. So until you get that fixed, I already pay uh, you know a, a pretty decent amount for my TV bills. I'm not gonna pay 11.99 more just to 
just to catch a few cricket matches that you know that I'm interested in interested in only when my team is playing I'm not gonna like you know and that too like you know catch it through their website and whatnot I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that if you really if you really want to join in on the action you know PlayStation view they ha they, they used to have the sport thing called uh, outside sports or something like that and they used to actually cover the, the, the Caribbean Premier League. This was a channel available on PlayStation View. So, yeah. If, if you want more penetrance, get on something like PlayStation View where you have more people buying your, you know, where you have more people with a greater chance of viewing your, your content. But well, then again, uh, crick, you know, cricket and its co no, not only the administration, not only the development, its its coverage itself in the United States, it's 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 absolutely laughable. But then again, uh, like you know, looking at the, the 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 sports trends in the United States, you generally tend to believe the impression generally comes off that you know they they don't like to compete usually on on the global scale usually this is why like you know with, let's say with soccer you don't or football sorry football football yeah uh yeah not the testicle ball football no football football you don't have such a uh you don't have such a revered history in you know in the u.s uh with no even like you know a, a lot of other sports that have like you know world championships like you know cricket has a world championship football has football football has a has a world championship if I'm, if i'm not mistaken even rugby has a world championship you you barely see you the one sport i will give it though is boxing but then again box boxing is is is, is fragmented the fragmented and divided the fuck up right now with like you know you know 876 you know different belts so anyways uh getting back to uh the match um yeah it was a uh, mostly uh, uh a batting friendly surface but if i'm not mistaken it wasn't it on this batting friendly surface that Bangla that england beat bangladesh and australia beat bangladesh wasn't it on this surface this this was nothing new. This was, in fact, uh, when you look at someone like a Suranga Lakmal, he was beating a lot of the batsmen in the air. This is what you listen. You you are going to get pitches like this. You are going to get pitches that you know that are that are not perfect. That are more more uh, batting friendly than uh, than bowling friendly. You are going to get pitches like this. Will I deem this pitch to be poor? Um. At this out of this match, yeah, I w I will as well, and yeah, sorry, uh, uh, what's his name? Nazmul Hussain Papon. Instead of like you know screaming like a little bitch, it says we already have one demoid point. If if because of Tamim Iqbal's Kong we get another demoid point, our our thing will get the our, our ground gets banned, and you know we have to uh pay a fine, and th because and that's why you know we we're gonna make Tamim Iqbal pay a fine, um. It's not Tom McBall's job to, take, to you know to take care of the ground. It's your job. If you are if you're not doing your job properly, bl blame yourself. Don't blame the players who play on it. Blame yourself. Okay. Um. And uh, yeah, it, it, it took a lot took a long time, but finally the bcb uh, uh decided to actually like you know spread out their games a bit more like not just have the the fatullah ground as a one ground venue and like you know have the cox's bazaar ground and do nothing have the select ground and do nothing have the kulna ground and do and do you know almost nothing no spread the shit out a bit more anyways this is something that Bangladesh needed let's just be honest because Bangladesh on good batting surfaces they have not ha they have not had as many performances like this like where Mo where Mo Hawk scores a century in each innings and whatnot and you know from a from a almost a losing position where 
almost no one gave them a chance to win. Uh, like they actually ended up, uh, no, it, it, they, they didn't give them a chance to even draw the match. Uh, they ended up actually like, you know, managing to, managing, managing to draw the match, albeit on a batting surface. Bangladesh needed, needed this because they, it's more of a psychological thing. Because Bangladesh n- needed performances like this to make them experience how to save a test match. Even in good conditions. Because Bangladesh, did, did, like, to be honest, Bangladesh did, does not have this experience, you know, to, to how to save a test match in, in, in even good conditions. So, I will say this was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good result for Bangladesh. Uh, it opens up the, the importance of the Dhaka test. You know, it, it opens up the possibility of the Dhaka test and make, makes that even more important. And um, apparently, if we win the Dhaka test, we actually become number eight from number nine. In the test rankings so you know that number number nine and ten relegation type of thing okay well, if we move to number eight that's up to West Indies and Zimbabwe then and to be honest West Indies they they have this coming how how this this mem like it's to the point where they're 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 they're, they're dismembered they're their challenges are de- are excruciatingly debilitating to their cricket. Excruciatingly debilitating. But yeah, this is something that Bangladesh, Bangladesh needed. And as for the team selection, why would you pick up the Razak? Okay, a person who has flourished in the domestic scenes in similar, if not worse, bowling conditions. Okay, in four-day formats. Why would you pick him and then pick him in your squad and then pick Thanzamul Islam of all people in the playing 11? Who does not necessarily have such experience, you know, in these type of pitches. Not more than Razak. So that was very surprising. And that sort of tells me they, they're going through a phase. Like this Chandika Hathura Singh uh, uh, exodus, immediate exodus, this has... This has, uh, like, you know, left them a bit uh, confused, if you will, uh, disoriented. But still, I, I sincerely think in the second test, they should bring back Abdul Razak. They should bring back Abdul Razak. And the second test, we know that Haka pitch. That Haka pitch is much more, turn, you know, spin friendly. Okay? So, I'll be surprised if they play two, two, two uh, Pacers in the Dhaka, in the Dhaka test. And I'll be sub- more surprised if they pick that fat ass Tan- uh, Tanbir Haider, that balding fat ass Tanbir Haider, instead of instead of Abdul Razak. In fact, if, we, if it was me, I'd actually like you know bring in a uh, Tushar Imran and. In fact, like, why Sabir Imran? No, actually, uh, no, I no, I think I think our I think our batting is pretty good right now. I think it's pretty good right now. Tushar Imran, will have to wait. Once there's an, once there's an obvious, obvious middle order spot to be opened, Tushar Man will have to wait. And yeah, that's about it. Um, let me know what you thought about the first test in the comment section below. I think Mustafa is actually bowled pretty well. He tried. And another thing, uh, yeah, the the pitch was very hard on bowlers to to give an example look at the sri lanka run rate overall overall they are very bad the, 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 their run rate was significantly below four the Bangladesh's run rate was in the end they ended up almost at four at some points they were even at, at five like especially uh, in in the first innings so yeah it, given that situation i think mustafa is actually actually bowled pretty well all right, let me know what you th- thought uh, in the comment section below. And this is the MC Tamil Thunderside, the Bengal Dragon, signing out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button.